Look like it's gonna rain out here, but I wanna comment on the mother and son in Chicago that was arrested because the mother texted the son that was sitting in the car and told her to bring her firearm in this restaurant where she was arguing with a dude. Now, I hear, I hear the argument that a lot of y'all make. And yeah, if you see someone punching your moms like that, you're gonna respond. You're gonna wanna take that person out. But if you really watch that video, that short clip that's shown, cause I'm interested in knowing what started that argument, okay? Because if you listen to that dude, he kept saying to her, get your food, ma'am, get your food, ma'am, ma'am, get your food. And then he said that he was going to hit her if she kept. This people, this dudes that can't under, can't stand to hear a woman bicker, complain and argue. Now, I'm not saying that what this dude was right, what this dude did was correct. What I'm saying is that woman being a carrying concealed permit holder, she should have de-escalated that problem, okay? Because it was in her power to de-escalate that by just not saying anything. And see, a lot of people think that when you walk away from a situation, it's showing a sign of weakness. But in reality, when you have the upper hand, like you're armed, you know that you're legally armed and you can defend yourself. Sometimes it's best to let people see you walk away in case you have to use deadly force. Then you have witnesses that would also vouch for you and say, well, he or she tried to de-escalate the problem because they walked away and he pursued her. But instead, her body language was facing this dude. She was arguing with this dude. And he kept telling her, get your food, ma'am, get your food, ma'am, get your food, ma'am, get your food, ma'am. And you got females, especially black females that love to get in dude's face. You know, you love to get in dude's face, man, and, and, and buck up at him, man. Just because you have a firearm, a legal firearm, don't mean or don't give you a license, man, to get in somebody's face. So he kept telling her, get your food. And she kept arguing. And then that's when he decided to haul off a punch to now. He hit her like he hit a man. And we're living in times now we have so many females that claim to be equal to men. And you got females that would get in men's face. And you have dudes that have that mindset that if you act like a man, I'm going to treat you like a man. And that's how that dude was. Again, I'm not justifying what he did. What he did was wrong. And any man would have would have reacted the same way. But she could have prevented it by keeping her mouth closed. Doesn't mean that she's weak. Being that she had the upper hand by being a concealed and carry permit holder. And she told her son, she texted her son and had him bring that gun in. And then when the dude hauled off and popped her, Right then, the, the son not only shot this dude in his back, but they also pursued him. And then, and this is why I can't understand why she's out now because they released her from prison. Not only did she shoot this dude in his back, the son shot this dude in the back, and they pursued her. She then told the son to shoot a witness, a woman that was there. The son refused to shoot the woman. She was going to wrestle the gun from the son to shoot this bystander, this witness that was there. So that's why I can't understand why she's out of prison. Because not only, yeah, it was self-defense because this dude haul off and popped her. And I think, I think if I'm not mistaken, in Chicago, they have strict gun laws. But I also think, too, that they have that, co that castle doctrine. OK, and they was released from prison. But I think that she should still be locked up. For the mere fact that she told her son to shoot that woman. And not only that, I don't know how it is in any other place, but in New York State, 
her son should have still been charged for handling a firearm because he is not licensed to carry and conceal. He's not even supposed to touch that firearm, okay? But he saved his mom's life. But at the same time, there's a lot of laws that were broken, okay? And I think the reason why they let her go is because of the fact that you had a lot of protesting going on and felt that, you know, she defended herself. Whereas she contributed to her son shooting that dude because had she had just got her food and left, none of that would have happened. Sometimes you got to walk away. Sometimes you got to walk away. You got to put your pride down and walk away and that would have saved both their lives. She wouldn't end up in jail with her son and that dude wouldn't have ended up dead. But she texted her son and told her son to bring the firearm in. Now he came, stood in the door, and when he seen this dude co knock his mom, he did what any dude would do. He shot this dude, and they pursued him, but yet she told him to shoot that witness too, all right? So, yeah, I'm on your side. I, I agree with you to a certain extent, but at the same time, she, instead of de-escalating the problem, she kept talking and talking and talking because like i said there's people that just can't handle that you may say oh he's he's less than a man and he should have been man he should have walked away he should have did this he should have did that but everybody's different man everybody's not the same and see you got dudes man that just can't tolerate a woman or anybody for that matter running their mouth like that so when she saw him if she had been paying attention if she had a notice that he was saying he was getting hyped and he was saying like, get your food, ma'am, get your food, ma'am. I know growing up, I used to hear people, the older folks say stuff like that. Let me loan, let me loan, let me loan now, let me loan. And by the third or fourth, let me loan, you would either got shot, stabbed, or beat half to death. Because they warned you and told you to leave them alone. Same thing with this dude. He kept saying, get your food. Get your food, ma'am. If she hadn't been paying attention to his body language, she should have just said, you know what? I'm not even going to argue with you. You're right. I'm going to get my food. I'm going to leave. And that would have saved a whole lot of problems. But instead, her body language was towards him and she was very aggressive towards him. So she could have prevented that.